Gosh, that looks so good. Hi guys. Welcome to the boys camp. Casey's boys here. Burgers. Case, what's the concoction? That is elk. That's Roosevelt elk. That is uh, Rocky Mountain elk sausage. That is ham bought from the store. And that is bacon bought from the store. All mixed together in a little hamburger concoction. We're going to eat this, go to bed, wake up in the morning, go catch 10 pound cutthroats. Mark my words, guys. Mark my words. So, there you have it. There you have it. Juicy bear. Kill him. Get in there. Guys, tis the season for the grasshopper. We are back on this little river here in southeastern Idaho. And we're gonna go see if the uh, fish are starting to look up, look for some hoppers. It's kind of been a little bit of a different year. Typically, the gra when the grass dries out is when the fish really start concentrating on the hoppers. And I think that's because the hoppers are going towards the greener grass, which is on the sides of the river, and then they accidentally fall in and the fish eat their faces. But the grass has remained pretty green, but it is starting to dry out finally. We've had quite a few days of heat with no rain, so I think the fish are going to start looking for these guys, hopefully. Double. Look at that. This is a uh, cutthroat fishery, but there are some big rainbows in here. Now that fish, streamer eater. Nice fish. Sweet. You want to get a picture? Yeah. This guy's ready to go. Right between the legs. Sweet. There's more of those to be had in here. Uh, we were hoping to catch some fish on some hoppers. Hoppers weren't happening, so we switched over to streamer, and instantly me and Brian both hooked up, so. Maybe the streamer's the uh, game today. Another rainbow. Dude, almost like identical. Same fish. <laughs> Same fish. Look at this guy. Streamer eater. <laughs> Dude, healthy fish in here. Sick. <laughs> He's a pretty good boy. I was saying a little bit earlier, but he's not much of a fishing dog. He's more of an upland bird dog. His nose gets him in trouble too, so he's always running around trying to hunt. He's being a good dog right now. I'm, I'm impressed. Nice to buddy. Grab it, grab it. Yeah. Something like that and reel this way. That's a Keep your eye up. Fish. There you go. Maybe. Right on the grasshopper, bud. Get your hand wet. You want to hold him? Look at that. Look, mm -hmm. bud. Mm -hmm. I've tried probably every color of hopper I have in my box. And uh, except for this guy, and this guy's been speaking to me all day. So guess what, buddy? It's your it's your chance. It's a blue grasshopper. I mean, how many times have you guys been out in the woods and seen a blue grasshopper all the time? Good fish. I told you, blue grasshopper. <laughs> nice. Third, my uh, third cast with the blue grasshopper. See that overhanging branch? I said this is the grasshopper spot. Dude, he attacked it. Check this out. Look at this fish. Not giant, but man, look how pretty they are. Wow. Teddy Rain Brown. Beautiful fish. Taking a little midday siesta just after 11 o'clock. Fishing's been okay. We had pretty high expectations after uh, the little dry run Casey did last night. He's got a couple decent fish. So far, I'm just catching the little guys. There's a bull moose though, standing in the river. He's been there for maybe an hour, just kind of hanging out, which is cool. So we're taking a little snack break, to see if maybe the afternoon is better. We've seen grasshoppers just on the edge, which tells us they're close. Casey switched it up and put a blue one on and had some luck, so probably just keep changing out flies and see what they're eating. This little guy though, been a good old boy, sitting in the river with me. You're gonna be a tired puppy tonight, huh buddy?
But hopefully we can get into one of these big old boys that uh, broke Casey off last night. That's the plan. Cross our fingers, get a little lucky. The bridge fish over here, Casey was saying, are uncatchable. Maybe you guys have got a bridge near where you fish. There's always fish there. The legend of the bridge fish is that uh, they're harder to catch, I guess. That's what Casey's telling me anyways. I don't know if there's any truth to that. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. When you fish near a bridge, easier to catch fish? Directly under the bridge. Harder to catch fish. He's, he's adding more details now. Like, has to be in the shadow of the bridge below it to count. Just kind of makes up his own program as he goes when he can't catch a fish under the bridge. I'm going to go prove to Brian right now that the fish under the bridge, the bridge fish, are uncatchable. I'm going to hit him with the one, two. One. The ones and the twos. The ones being the purple Duracell, the twos don't even matter after the purple Duracell. Fish on! They are catchable. Nice fish. Did you put it two on or just one bug? Two. Look at that boy. Guys, stud, stud fish, chilling under the bridge. We went straight up Euro Nymph action on him. Streamer, we throw streamers at him, we throw the grasshoppers at him. They didn't want to touch any of that. I'm not above catching fish on a worm if I have to. San Juan worm. But uh, we went, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta adapt to the fish. And uh, these fish probably get fished out a lot because they sit under a bridge. And uh, we went perfect Duracell. Got him. Go back under the bridge, my friend. And there he goes. <laughs> How was that? It's all right. I'm gonna try it one more time. There's a big one in there. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Not a giant, but I love these fish. Look how pretty that is. Hopper. See that? Oh, wow. yeah. Pretty fish. Beautiful fish. On the hopper. There he goes. Nice, dude. Right out there, man. This big fish. I'll send Logan's underneath the bridge with his rod. Where are you going, man? Nowhere. Just gonna get the shot. <laughs> Just. Hey, I thought you were filming. Yeah, I'm, I'm down here filming. <laughs> I was, dude. I was stirring him up. Close. What are you whittling there, Log? I'm just making a handle. Putting a handle on this uh, spear staff. Spear bow staff? It's gonna be real sweet. Oh, I'm really close. We are not fishing, but we are making steaks for dinner. And by the smell of it, pretty solid. Idaho and potatoes, no brainer. The Deucey Dog wore himself out on the river today. He's officially passed out. Logan is uh, whittling sticks and on potato duty. <laughs> Double whammy. With a, Super dull knife, might, I might add. Anyways, uh, we had high hopes for the fishing trip today. It didn't quite pan out like we had wanted to. We lost a couple of nice fish. And then this evening, we went and explored a couple of new areas. Didn't love them. 
dealt with a bit of a thunder, thunder boomer. Kind of got wet. So we're just hanging out with the kiddos, making dinner, enjoying each other's company, camping. Oh. And that happens. And Logan has a watch. Logan's, Logan's watch, watch is, is ringing. Answered on that. Hello. Hello? Sick so far, not very useful. What kind of watch is that? It's supposed to be all futuristic and track your like fitness gains. You're supposed to be able to call on it, but it really hasn't done anything. It's the Apple Watch Series Three. Where, where'd you I get it? I hear people. I hear people talking. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> babe. This is what we were working with. Phone. I brought my two sons, and then. Uh, we hired my third son to run the camera, <laughs> and he's done a fairly good job running a camera, except for if you hire a camera guy to come film you fishing, do not allow the camera guy to bring his own fishing pole, because what happens is he'll be filming you fishing like, oh, get this, eat, Logan, and then the next thing you know, he's sneaking around the hole with his spinning rod, throwing it into the hole. Not film just what happens. Logan went full Trent Fisher throwing the Panther Cynical. Martin today. Trent, you'd be proud, my, my man. But that is a good thing. If you guys are trying to film your own hunts and you're tag teaming with your buddies, there is a good rule of thumb to consider. Whoever's on the camera is not allowed to carry a rod or a reel. They're not allowed to carry binoculars. They're definitely not allowed to carry their bow. They should be focused on filming and that is it. That makes for the best content, the best story. When you try to multitask, the hunter and or angler in you comes out. It is a given. So if you see elk on the hillside and you're carrying your binos when you're supposed to be running the camera, your natural instinct is to grab your binos and look at the elk instead of filming your buddy carrying his rifle or his bow trying to hunt the elk. Just a little tip for you. Born and raised guys are very serious about that rule. We're getting better with it.